Welcome back to Darlington for a sprint race. So, you guys already know the rules. Half points are rewarded. And the qualifying is by random order. Yes, from the game, not by me. Nick Kennedy, he drawed first, so he gets to sit, well, first. You can already see the full qualifying results. And here is the race command. Drivers, start your Engines fired up. Here we go. So half the distance from yesterday's race. Should be interesting. Maybe, maybe not. It could be just as calm as yesterday's race. Or it could be like what we expect. Plenty of wrecks, a lot of drama. That's about it. So, let's uh, talk about points. Who is our points leader after the first Darlington race? It is Blazy Vitar. He is actually tied with Nathan Orman, but he does have the tiebreaker for having a better average finish than Nathan Orman. A 10.86 versus an 11. Yep, exactly 11 is Nathan Orman's average finish. So, the top three have all gained two spots. Jojo T is third. Mugger bound down to two. Kyle's fifth now, losing four spots. Alexander Rohr remains in sixth. Connor Breeden up six spots. Max Anderson gained 11 after that win. Trey Wright remains in ninth place. Al Legacy now in the top 10, up four spots as we get set for the green. Green flag is out. We're underway here at the Darlington Raceway. Great restart, or great start for the 07. The 7 car, Afrodomar, trying to fill that gap. Peter Savano didn't really get going. But it wasn't that bad of a restart, or start. And a turn 3 did go. Here, a couple of cars scraping the wall here. I believe that's a 10. That holds the entire outside lineup. And Nick Kennedy leads lap number 1. I believe Talladega is our next race as Peter Savano in the 32 looks to the inside. Side by side. So much. Oh, trouble. Trey Wright's gone around. Light's still green though. He's probably all the way down to the inside. You know how the cautions are very lax at this Darlington Raceway. In this version at least. And Peter Savano. He's our second different leader of the night. He leads the second lap. <coughs> There's Trey Wright in the 13. He's only down to 20. He's not last. Might have had some help. See uh, Sam and Oliskan and Ryan Butcher with damage. And here comes Molly Hallen. Or Han Lon. Had a suspension break in yesterday's Darlington race. Now leading. There's a 19. He leads the points in the Classic. I think. Still. Or, but he's the last in this series. Yes, he is last despite winning one race this season. Three points behind, second last. 17th still has the lead. Here comes a four car, who's now third in points. Three top fives, tied with the most, and four top tens, tied between three other guys. So far, there's been a lot more action tonight than there was yesterday's race. Single file here, but look at them all pushing. <coughs> Alexander Rowe, he looks to the inside. He stays put. Fronomar in the 7. Again in the 07. Someone's yet wanting to make a move, but just staying in line here.
Alright, here they go. Nick Kennedy to the inside. Now Forrest Alexander on the top. And here goes a four car for the race lead. Molly will drop to fourth. Maybe even fifth. Oh, whoa. Really hit the wall there. Really caught where the safer barrier starts. A lot of damage there. And a lot of spots lost. From that mistake. Three way battle for the race lead now. More cars in the wall. Peter Savano, he just scraped it. Loses quite a bit of ground. So from first all the way to sixth in the points. No one has gotten a win yet. Highest running with the victory is Connor Brin. He is seventh in the points. A4 car looking for his first win of the season. Nick Kennedy looking for his second. And Frodemar is also looking for his first. Nick Kennedy is 19th in points. Frodemar is 14th in points. And we mentioned Giorgio T is 3rd in points. Coming to 5 laps to go. hear more cars scraping the wall here. This time is the number 19. He loses a spot to the 24. Well this would... Well if the 4 win tonight. Four car actually only has a 2 point gap so... More cars scraping. And the yellow is out. Yellow is out. And I think we're going to go green white checkered. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But I think we are. Yeah, we are. Alright, we'll take a look at the replay. Take a look at this. So we got Peter Zavano, Brian Benjamin, and Noodles. They're going three wide. Three wide through one and two here at Darlington. You know they're going to wreck when they go three wide here at Darlington. The nine car gets caught up in it. 81 car, a lot of damage. He, even though he drives away from you, can already see the smoke spewing out. And then these guys, the 11 in the back of the 9, the 40 car going around, the 2 and the 93. More cars, the 88. 41, 55, the 13. Yep, there he goes, upside down he goes. And a big, big wreck on the back straight. Now this is Darlington. This is what we expected. Few guys able to drive away from it, like the two car, the 55 and a the nine. They should be all right. 92. And he's done. 11, 13, 78. Let's take a look at the second part of the the second part. Let's see the 88 car, Max Anderson, who won the yesterday's race, was running on 25th. He got the 10 car. And the 78 Andrew Johnson, where did Hoodie hit? I uh, think he hit Benjamin as well. Uh, that tank car took two big hits right there. 40 cars got uh, flung around. Also going on his roof. Kind of. Going on the, on the roll cage. Or whatever. But yeah, there you go. First caution of the night. Our first and only caution of the night. We'll see how they line up, then we'll reset the field, take you to green, what to take you to overtime. So the four car will lead them to the line. There'll be 18 cars restarting, as of course the rest, that is their fetch results. Now we'll take you to overtime. Alright, here we go. Green, white, checkered. I believe this is our second time going into overtime. And both happening in the sprint races. First one was at Charlotte. The All School 100, that was a sprint race. And now here at Darlington, also a sprint race. 
And yes, Talladega is up next. Our next sprint race will be at Texas. We'll be right after Talladega. I accidentally put Talladega twice in the uh, schedule on Discord. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Getting ready for the green here. Several drivers looking for the first win of the season. Green flag is out. Horrible restart for the 7 car. Did not get going at all. You, could, you saw the car just didn't want to go. That opens the door for these two. Not quite. They're going to stay on the outside. Oh, contact. And there they go. Nathan Norman's going to go around the 19, the 7. And they're wrecking behind multiple cars. But this is overtime. No yellows. Here we go. Oh, the 4 is in the wall. Nick Kennedy's right behind him. Side by side, Nick Kennedy in the 07 goes right by. He retakes the lead. White flag is out one more time around. He pushed him a lot faster than he wanted to go. And that put him in the wall. And that might win him the race right there. Track's clear. Alright, here we go. In the 3 and 4 for the final time. Nick Kennedy is going for two wins. He keeps it off the wall. Smooth corner to three and four. Checkered flag is out. Win number two for Nick Kennedy in the 07 car. And I believe Al Legacy just beat Brad Cheston. No, actually Brad Cheston beat Al Legacy. Here comes the rest of the field. Fighting for whatever's left. And I believe that's it. So got maybe one more car. Lights are still on. Oh, 17 with a lot of damage. All right, I'll take a look at the four race results first. So Nick Kennedy becomes the first driver with two wins this season. I'll give him a lot of uh, points despite this being a sprint race. It's still points to be won. Uh, Giorgio T, he gets second. Might need to have a little chat with Nick Kennedy after this race. Brad Chess was able to beat Al Legacy for third, about two one thousandths of a second. Mitchell Collins gets 5th, Ryan Butcher 6th, the 19 team 7th, Carter Joey 8th, Rodriguez 9th, and Connor Breen 10th. So all 18 cars were able to finish a race. And uh, we'll take a look at the wrecks before we take it to victory lane. So let's start it right here with the 7 and the 19. See there's a contact. Everyone that... Or... Hmm. Maybe there wasn't any contact. Yeah, that caused a big mess in uh, turn two again. Handful of cars or several cars involved. And you saw that 17 car took a huge, huge hit. Still going though. Right on board with the 17 who led a few laps tonight. Right in the back of the 19 car. Spun right around. Okay, at the back end of the 28 as well. Slow motion doesn't really. Show how super that wreck was. Yeah, you saw there was damage on the top of the cage. See, if we can see from yeah, you can see. So yeah, that was a real big hit for Molly there. Still able to drive it though. Finish 18th. Kind of didn't really finish the race, but or something. Or was any more wrecks, any more contact, or anything like that? No, I don't think so. Well, there was smoke. I think I just saw smoke. Who, who got sideways there? One of these guys. Oh, the 12 car. So there was a second wreck. Carter, Joey, and Chris Kyle. So they ended up spinning out. Ryan Butcher got a piece of that. Looks like that was it for them. Alright, so that is it here at Darlington once again. Well, now I'll take you to victory lane.